Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another episode of Jewelry Admirers, episode number 25. And today we have a special guest with us, Dia from Immortal Hourglass here on YouTube, and Angie from Treasured Vintage. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves and say hi? And Dia? Uh, my name is Dia. Um, I am a jewelry reseller and I do videos on YouTube. Hi. Awesome. <laughs> Awkward. No, not awkward at all, honestly. Um, and her, the, the link to her channel is in the description box down below. And she is Immortal Hourglass on YouTube, Instagram, and also, is it Twitter? No, not at um, My username is the same thing all the way across the whole board on every social media. So you can find Dia everywhere under Immortal Hourglass. Everybody got their secondary chat uh, muted? I do. I'm just trying to figure out where that other one's coming from. Mine's muted. Yeah, that was the delay on my end before I introduced the show because I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to start. Because that mute button is not there before the show anymore like it used to be. Right. Unless I have a window open outside of on another screen somewhere that I, that I can't find. Hmm. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it too. Me too. Mine's muted. I heard that I can't find. Oh, it's a bad echo too. Okay. Oh, YouTube and me have just not been good lately. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what. It's okay. Well, while you're trying to figure that out, I'm going to say hi in the chat. So let me scroll uh, back up here. We have Adam here, who's an awesome moderator for the channel. Thank you so much for being here. We have uh, CD and my Skywatch 2. Michelle's here. Hey, Michelle. Mystic Shop and Sheila, Jennifer, and Hubs. wonder who Hubs is, Dia. <laughs> Let me get the screen to go back up. We're off to a slow start, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna go. You guys go ahead. I, um, is it on? Um, is it on? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Um, I'm just gonna go. You guys go ahead. I, um, is it on? Is it on? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Okay. So um, a couple more shout outs in the chat. Up in the house, Records TV, Debbie and Max are here. And we got April here, Tanya. I know that Barb is here. And I hope I didn't miss anybody. Aaron Marcus. So welcome in everybody, welcome. Okay, we've lost Angie. Where'd she go? <laughs> she said, I think she said she was going to leave for a minute because one. Uh, I think her YouTube was echoing. Okay. Is it still echoing? I don't hear any echoing. Do you guys hear any echoing in the chat? Adam says she was frustrated and she left. Uh, hey, Mary, Duddy, and Lori. There she is. Okay. Yeah, I had a window that it was off the screen somewhere. I don't know where it was. It was like <laughs> somewhere. And I just looked up there and said, bring all the windows to the front. Yeah, it's still doing it. I don't understand what's going on. Somewhere. That's bizarre. No. Bring all the windows to the front. Okay, I'm gonna have to go because I don't want to ruin the show. I will go and try to investigate this. Y'all have a great show. I'm so sorry. 
Okay, Bye. Well, hope you can come back. Maybe you can come back on your iPad. Oh, that's a thought. I'll try. I'll try. Okay. Sorry, everybody, for the mess up. Uh, no, don't stress it. This is why I should just quit YouTube. No, no. don't be silly. Figure it out real quick and then join us back, okay? Bye. All right. Thank Bye. you. No, don't stress it. Why? Okay, Dia, what is going on, girl? <laughs> YouTube's been crazy lately. It's cut my yes, live right. feeds and everything, and it's turned off comments. It's blocked people. I'm like, okay. It has. It's like it has a mind of its own, for real. Like, I've noticed a lot of changes, not just that whole mute situation, but other things as well. It's crazy. Yeah, so uh, some of you guys uh, might have noticed uh, Angie and I did change the name of our show from Jewelry Detectives to Jewelry Admirers. And the reason why we did that is because it's kind of hard for us to look up uh, while we're live and online comps and what other things uh, might be going for. So we just decided to change it to admirers and that way we can just have our friends come on and show the jewelry that they love. And I think that is gonna be a much, a much funner environment. So that is what we're gonna be doing going forward. So if you guys would like to be on the show, uh, please message Angie or myself and we will get you scheduled. So Dia, what kind of jewelry did you bring to share today? Well, I didn't know we were changing the name. So I had just <laughs> brought some pieces that I didn't either A, look up or I have no idea what they are. Um, I brought a Monet bracelet, but Miss Angie's having technical difficulties. I know she's the Monet queen. Yes, she is. Not see what I'm doing. I have to turn that off. Okay. It's um, not going to focus. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're on YouTube. We're not doing it, it today. It's focusing. Yeah, I okay. love that. It's so big and chunky. It has the safety chain and stuff. Um, it has the copyright symbol and the capital M. But I didn't look it up, to be honest. I just, it was in a drawer and I just, kind of bypassed over it. Yeah, I was really anxious to hear what Angie had to say about this piece. And I know that you guys were talking about like, if it's a big M or a little M, and I don't really know anything about that. So there she, she is, or he. It, you're not gonna focus today, camera, really? It almost it looks like for some reason. Yeah, is it like, it looks like leaves maybe, like with maybe rhinestones? No, it's like little twisted roses, like the wires twisted together on top of itself. Oh, okay. It's like little roses. It's gorgeous. It almost looks like little butterflies in between the links there. It's really heavy. So, I don't, I don't, I don't normally do costume jewelry, so it's been sitting in a drawer. And I figured since she was going to be on here this morning, I would be like, hey, what is this? <laughs> right? Yeah, so in the chat, if you guys know anything about the Monet, the first uh, letter, if it's a big M or a little M, no, because I'm, I'm not really sure. I'll have to look that up. It's marked on the the clasp. Let's see, my, I guess I know my nails are need to be fixed. Oh, no, they look but, great. Love that color. And it has the copyright symbol, and the only capital one is the M. So, so Angie <laughs> Monet Stark in the chat there. Angie, honey, you need to get on your iPad and come join us. <laughs> yes, Miss Angie. And then I brought these clay. I think they're handmade. I don't, I don't know what animal they are. I think it's a bird or a duck or something. But I was wondering if anybody knew. Like what culture made them? Oh wow, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, like most of the wood, wood jewelry I see has like African animals on it, like you know, giraffes and elephants and stuff like that. But those are like little birds, aren't they? Yeah, I think they're. I think they're birds, or I don't know what kind of bird it would be. And they have like three little moon-looking shapes on them, and the eyeball. 
and it's just strung on a simple red thread. Okay. Well, gosh, my first thought would be like that fetish type stuff, right? Maybe yeah, I was thinking the same thing, but I was like, mm, I don't know. Because I've never seen anything like it, especially just strung on a piece of thread, like just a thread. Yeah, definitely. I've never seen anything like it. And they're really lightweight and just, they're kind of weird. Some of them have beaks, like this little guy has a beak, and they, some of them don't. He has a beak, and then some of them don't. So I think they're handmade. Okay. Wow. Yeah, somebody spent a lot of time making that. Do you have worth point? Worth point? Uh huh. No, I don't. I love to look on worth point, like just to see if there's anything similar to what I have. I'll check it out for you later for sure. I don't even know where to look. What clay birds? <laughs> Are they clay or is it wood? It is it clay? Oh, they're clay. I don't even know what microphone this thing's using. So they're like, <laughs> yeah, they're clay of some kind, or they could even be mud. I don't know. Okay, somebody in the chat said, um, Mary Dethy says, someone said Peru. Peru? Um, Peruvian? Ann says. Just get them back up there. It's interesting. Yeah, I think they do really well on Etsy. I haven't even started listening on SD. You haven't? You have. It's fun. It's easy. It's so easy. Like, I use that app on my phone. It's so fast and easy. So I, if, I just, like, um, several of my friends have been like, just do SD. It's so easy. And you get a lot of, you know, stuff. And I'm like, I'm lazy. <laughs> And then so I was wondering if anybody knew what glass this was. Um, they're like clip on. I don't know if it's going to show the true color or not, but they're green and clear and they're. Mm, mm, they're really. Weird. Are they signed at all? They're not signed. They're gold toned and I didn't see any markings whatsoever on them. But I picked them up in an estate sale because I thought the glass was like really cool looking. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nasty nails. <laughs> but they're, it's, this is not on my camera. It's not showing how green they are. But they're actually green. It has like a little stripe of green in this milky clear color. Yeah, like a cat's eye or something. Yeah, and it's kind of kind of cool. Yeah, they're And it cool. has the little green rhinestones. I've just never seen that type of glass before. You know, a lot of times when I'm not sure about the value of something, I will just uh, maybe start an auction, do an auction on eBay and like run it for seven or 10 days and just like put in some good keywords. And that way, if it is something valuable and I don't know it, you know, maybe somebody else will know and bid it up, right? Yeah. Never thought about doing that. Yeah, here they are. So I wanted to ask, you said you had drawers of costume jewelry. So do you mainly just sell like precious metals and? Um, I normally do, yeah. But here lately I've been selling more of the costume just to get rid of it. Um, so I can open up more room. So when I build my office, I don't have to take so much jewelry in my office with me. Yeah, definitely. So hope it's a problem. <laughs> some of those costume jewelry pieces can be worth just as much money as you know the gold stuff i'm serious like the collectors for that stuff is it's really broad there's a lot of people who collect the costume jewelry oh i know i i, I regret all the years going to estate sales and yard sales and not picking up all the costume jewelry they had mm -hmm. because i was just like ah, oh, i don't want to deal with it and i don't want to look it up and stuff like that so i've been looking them up and listened like um I put my phone on like accessibility mode and we listen to articles. They'll read you the article off in like a robotic voice and stuff. And what phone do you have? Do you have an Apple? Do you have iPhone? I have a Samsung Galaxy S. I think it's an 8 Plus. Okay, so you're a Droid user, right? Mm hmm. 
Yeah, like I'm always asking Siri to look up stuff and she'll look it up and she'll find it, but she never reads anything to me. I'm like, look, woman, I'm driving. I need you to read this to me. Oh, I turn like there's an app on my on you can download or mine has it. And you can turn it into the settings and it's for like um visually impaired people and okay. it will read you the whole article. Okay, I totally need to do that. Thank you for telling me. I'm gonna look into that. That way, when I'm cleaning the house and stuff, I can just open up a web browser and like it'll highlight them all, and it'll even describe pictures to you. There's two oh. girls, one smiling. It's really weird that it does that, but it does. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and another reason to be picking up the costume jewelry, I always tell the guys, is because nowadays with all the auctions, you know, in the MSP auction show. It's a great way to make money because, you know, the women love the costume jewelry. So when you guys are out there, go to garage sales, you know, and you find jewelry and it's cheap enough, pick it up because you can always go on one of these auction shows and sell it for profit. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of resellers who like doing jewelry. I like doing it because it doesn't take up much room unless you have a whole bunch mm -hmm. of it. I tried the whole clothes thing, but we use a wood stove and we have two white animals and... I'm just like, no. And then like the whole laundry room is full of brand new clothes with tags on them that I had wanted to sell. But mm -mm. Yeah. not for me. I know what you mean. My uh, One of my chihuahuas, he's white and black, but he's more white than black. And his little white hairs are a problem. Like I find them everywhere. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> Somebody's getting her, her shots today. She's not happy about it. Oh. Then we have this brooch and it has, where does it go? Oh, it's right here. A baggy everything. Um, if not, I would never find them. I know, me it too. It has these little earrings. They're so cute, but they're so heavy. Like, That's I don't cute. know how much this thing weighs, but it is so heavy. I think it would just like rip a hole in your shirt. It is so heavy. Really? Mm-hmm. It's like sticks out it needs a good clean but and it's not marked oh wow let's see you're not gonna focus are you no no nope. yeah, there you go yeah i would say that was like i don't know angie's not here but maybe 50s 1950s so you said it has matching earrings or it doesn't uh, it does the earrings are considerably light compared to the brooch. Let me not drop that on the floor. That'd be great. And I like little clip-ons. You're not gonna focus. There it goes. Oh yeah, they're really pretty. And they're not signed. I still would think that would do nice on Etsy, especially since you have, uh, you know, two pieces. <laughs> Poor Angie. Right. I'm laughing at Mike in the chat. He says, poor Skippy getting shaved next. Poor dog. <laughs> I'm always putting jewelry on him. Listen, you should try that with your little animals sometimes as like little jewelry props. <laughs> okay. Especially your husky. She's so pretty. She is pretty, but you know what? You can't, she will let you put like a shirt on her or whatever. But if you go to stick a leash on her, a collar on her or whatever, she throws a hissy fit. Oh, okay. And <laughs> yeah, put that harness on her, and it only comes off if she has to get back. Yeah. She would throw herself on the ground and pretend like she's a fish out of the water. <laughs> you try to put a collar on her. I put a, a strand of fake pearls on her for a photo shoot once. It did not end well for the pearls. Oh. <laughs> no, it did not end well at all. We have a couple more people show up in the chat. I saw Justin from RVA Flips earlier and Lonnie's here at Garage Flips. And let's begin. Thank you. And I wanted to see, Miss Tanya, if you know what stamp this was. It's nine. Angie's back. Angie! It's 900 it's silver. It's made in Argentina. So the stamp literally says 900? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, it's 0 0.900 and it has a scorpion. How cool is that? And I looked all over the internet for this scorpion and I have not found it. But here it is right here. 
Well, I wonder what kind of stones those are. They have to be uh, real, right? Someone told me, and I think I found it online, like Rhoda Crow's Light or something like that. I think. I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I actually looked it up. Let's see if it'll focus. They look like Jolly Ranchers to me. Yeah. What does the class look like on there? The class is just... Okay, like a little hook. Yeah, and it's all welded together. The, the, they have holes on the back of the stones for little air um, breathers. Oh, wow, I've never noticed that before, stones uh, being encased like that. Yeah, and they have little holes. Uh, oh, the window's right there, and it's like. Yeah, I'm not using lights today, just, just the window. There we go. It might help if it doesn't have a background to focus on. But it's a little scorpion. That is so interesting. I'll have to look that up. Of course, the detective in me is wanting to say that that's really like maybe really old or somebody handmade that. I mean, clearly it's, it's actually really heavy to be so little. Let me see if I could take a picture. Because this camera's going to get on my nerves to fail. And it has like a mirrored finish. So I'm thinking that it's like rhodium plated or something. Yeah. The more mirrored the finish, the more you would think it would be rhodium. Is that a is that a trait of rhodium plate? I just say that it's plated with something so it doesn't tarnish. Because mm -hmm. we busted through the, the, the plating and tested it for, you know, silver. And I took it to a jewelry store because I was like, mm, I've Linda. never seen that mark before. He's like, oh, yes, it's 900 silver. And I'm like, okay. Linda asked if that's a red dot under the 900. Um, no, it, that right there is a drill hole for the stone. There's the scorpion. Hmm. Very interesting. Shoot, it's not focusing. My ears are ringing. Then it's... Something 0 0.900. Hmm. Do they still make silver that way these days? Uh, I think some people like hand make them do, yeah. Where did you acquire it? Like at an estate sale or online? I got this. I honestly can't remember if it was a yard sale or an estate sale. I'm thinking it was an estate sale. And one of the mass boards I picked up. <laughs> it says something Argentina. I can't read what it says. It's so little. It's so tiny. I don't have a loop. So it has a scorpion and it's from Argentina. Mm -hmm. does, it say, does it say don't cry for me? <laughs> oh, don't cry. You're going to get that song stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, they have all the, the backs of them have that little bitty hole. Robin said European mark question mark. Maybe it's a European mark. I don't know. Like I looked up 900 silver with scorpion stamp every which way you can imagine for like two months. And this is my problem when I'm listing jewelry. This is why I never get it listed because I do too much research. And then I said, I'm going to go shopping and find something else that gets my attention. Yeah. What about the other piece? <laughs> And you put that to the side, and then you have a lot of to the side pieces. <laughs> I have yeah. a lot of to the side. Which kind of to do it again? Yeah. Or pieces? I'm like, ah, oh, I think it's worth more than I I want to list it for. What if I list it and I don't get what I want for it? And I'm just like, I'm just gonna hold on to it for a while. I'll just wear it. And I never wear it. I have a whole bunch of personal jewelry mm -hmm. that I don't even wear. My husband's like, oh, you like that ring? Just get it. I'm like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to wear it. I wore oh. pearls for you today, Dia. Huh? I wore, I wore pearls for you. I know, they're so pretty. I love that necklace, Angie. It's so pretty. I totally She's wear so that. classy. So. She is very elegant. 
Miss Andy, I'm gonna have to show you that Monet breastplate again since so we can hear you now. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Seems to be fixed. Thank goodness. Ooh, that's pretty. Is that onyx and silver? Yep. And it, the only tag that it has is sterling. Whoever made this beautiful thing didn't mark it. Isn't that something? Isn't that mm. crazy? What's the back look like? Uh, can you get over? It has one of those like soldered on tags. When your nails come in handy. It needs yeah. to be Looks well. Oh, there's the nice. tag. It just says sterling. Okay, I'm caught up in her fingernails right now. Are those your real nails, Dia? Uh, my real nails are that long underneath of them, yeah. Do you get overlay? Mm -hmm. That's what Acrylic I do. Acrylic overlay. Yeah, they're Because really my nails are like as thin as paper. They break so easily. And they don't yeah. break like all the way across. They'll break like in onion layers and like peel off. It's so weird. Mine do too. Mine are always peeling. So. We can cut way down this time. So what do you what do you think about this bracelet? Like So it does have a maker's mark on it or no it doesn't. It just says let's see it just says a hallmark. Sterling. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's one of those glued on not glued on. Started on stamps, tabs, that's what it's called, tab. And it's just unique. It's very pretty. I don't know what time era it's from, but. Would you call that like filigree there, Angie, on the side of the stones? Hmm? Or would you just filigree? call it? Like... I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch that, Tonya. Would you call that filigree on the sides of the stones or just maybe like? Yeah, I, I got, there was a question up there from Lisa about can a teal work on that? And I'm on the fence on that. It, it might be Canada too, but I've seen that so often and I, I don't know. Canada teal seems more fancy than that. So I'm not sure it looks if Bulgarian. If I'd call it that or not. Where did that bracelet go? The problem you have too much stuff on your table. But Angie, do you know anything about this Monet? Well, um, I was looking as as I was having my technical difficulties. I was looking through my book, <laughs> and I found a lot of ones in here that were just so similar to that. But I don't think there's any like that. But from what I can tell, that would be a. But look at look at how similar these are. Oh Not yeah, pretty much got that design down. Of, you put it on me for a second and, uh, and you'll be able to see it better. Stick the, yeah, put it on me. Oh, wow. Can you put That's the pretty. screen on I me? I did. I've got a little white, the little white. It should be. Is it locked on into you guys? It should be. It's. I don't see it locked on me here. Oh, maybe, maybe I need to do me myself here. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know what's happening to me. <laughs> I'm so pitiful lately. So these are, these are similar here too. And uh, this one here is very similar. Yeah, they but are. It's not, it's not the same. Now see that, see that hang tag is, is like yours, I'm sure. Do you yeah, see little, and, little and, hang tag. Yeah, these pieces are from the 60s. 1966 is uh well this one they're talking about these up here 1966 but these are the these are from the 60s they didn't pin them down they're gorgeous so I, I can't say that i've ever found anything like that at least we can go with that time frame but i don't think the exact one is in the book but you know, that's when all these wider ones were made, the 60s and 70s, the wider ones were really popular then. And the ones with all that that bumpy finish on them. For yeah, lack lots of bumpy finish. Yeah, I do too. 
but um yeah so that's about the insight i can tell you on that that's a start <laughs> yeah definitely i love to look at that book i do too i'm always looking at it <laughs> wanted to show and tell this piece. It's really old in my opinion. And I think, yeah, it has that little class. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can open this with fingernails. If I can hold it. I hope I can see what I'm doing. Wrong side. Look how pretty. Oh, that's really nice. Now that mm -hmm. is canon. <laughs> I would call that can of teal for sure, the the metal work, and that that could be like a Czech piece or a West German piece. I would say. Yeah, the only stamp that's on it says Sterling, and has that little that wrong side, that little thing that covers up the bar. Oh, that's a pendant? Yeah, you can pop it off. You can pop it off the bar. And then now you have a pendant. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you can just pop it back on. And it's just a fancy brooch. I would say that looks Art Deco, but Auntie knows a lot more about that stuff than I do. Yeah, I would say that too. I would say 30s, 20s, 30s. I think it's so pretty. I have one downstairs that's Art Deco with um, ruby sapphires and emeralds. Let's shut that for some good stab, namely me. And I was wondering if you thought this was, if everybody in the chat thought this was a reproduction or if it's real. Like from that time, I don't know how to hold this thing, y'all. That's okay. There we go. We'll just, we'll just cheat and hold this little fob, this little stick. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wow, that's so pretty. That is very neat. Um, I have no clue. Here's the back. It's just like that pushed metal, you know? Uh-huh. Like stamped metal. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it's a seasoning thing where the floor goes through. So are these the types of pins that you sold for a hundred dollars? A hundred pins for a hundred dollars? Because that one I wouldn't do that with. I wouldn't stick it in a lot. Oh no, I sold stuff like um, you know, the JJ stuff and um okay. Uh, I uh, quite a few animals, um, birds, and stuff like that because I just don't have the time to list it. So I just grouped them all up once and just sold them on Poshmark and sold a lot off Poshmark too. How do you do on Poshmark with your jewelry? Uh, when I when I share, I do really great. <laughs> right. <I don't>, no. <laughs> um, the problem Poshmark's all story, about right? share your stuff for it to get get seen or whatever and i used to share three times a day i don't do that anymore yeah it's a big commitment like i'm telling all myself my husband's probably in there i knew it <laughs> so i have a and question it, yeah i was gonna say i have a question real quick for you ladies actually aaron marcus in the chat has a question so i thought we could all chime in on it he says that he's picked up a lot of silver uh, over the past year, and whenever he uh, photographs it, he's like having problems with a bunch of scratches and stuff showing up. So, do you guys have a particular way you uh, photograph your sterling silver? And I got to tell you, I have been having the same problem too. Like, even on a black background, I still get like funny reflections, and it's just not looking right. Can I tell so, you? Uh, interrupt you a second. I'm sorry, but while I'm thinking about it, it flies right out of my head. Um, can I tell you, if you're taking pictures on your phone, if you increase your black point in your contrast when you're taking pictures on a black background, it'll get rid of all the fuzz and stuff. So, okay, so you, 
if you're uh, if you have something that you know one of those like velvet things you know and you set set a brooch or something on it and you just see a lot of you know lint and fuzz and little hair fibers and stuff if you increase your contrast in your black point it it generally gets rid of that okay now angie is talking from an iphone perspective so yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah. IPhone <laughs> well my android has um something called professional settings or something Mm -hmm. you can change all that too you just have to do it like manually with like the little bars and the, the s curve and all that kind of this stuff but i take my black pictures well i used to take black pictures now i don't really just take them on white i don't care what color the jewelry is because it's just easy one to set up for a deal but i used to take it on black acrylic but you can just wipe off you can get panels of mirrored black acrylic um on Amazon, you can get a two pack of white and a black one, and you can just wipe it off and it won't have any fuzz instead of using, especially if you have animals, using the velvet stuff. Oh, I know. What a pain in the booty. So, do you have on your YouTube um, channel in your description box, do you have like maybe a link to those, an affiliate link that you use? You should no, I don't have stuff. affiliate links at all. Um, I could probably go put uh, some of them that I use personally in there. Where I usually, um, there's a picture on my Facebook right now of a sterling silver heart, puffed heart on a blue background. And all that is doing is it's sitting on a mirror. And over top of where I'm shooting at is a piece of blue satin. So it, you can make it whatever color you want. And, and that way you don't have lint free and all that kind of stuff. You can set it on the mirror and it has that same kind of reflection that jewelry stores use, that like shallow mirror on the bottom. Mm -hmm. The further you pull your camera back, the further the, the reflection will blur. So if you guys want to see what Dia's talking about, she has a group on Facebook and it's called Immortal, Hour, Immortal Hourglass. So you can um, go check. It's a page, right? They can like it or is a group? I can't remember. I think it's, it's a just page. a business page. Yeah, I think it's just a page. Okay. And then maybe you could go and post the links to those acrylic, were they acrylic boards? What were you saying they're called? Like for the white and the black ones. Anyway, maybe you could post the link in the Thrifty Jewelry Treasures Facebook group. Is Dia locked up? She froze. It looks like. Oh no, she's blinking. What okay, we're good. Yeah, you being really still. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Did it? Did it move? It just froze for a second. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> Okay. Like she's either in deep thought or <laughs> Angie, she just, everything froze and then the fan kicked on i was like okay i i don't know if you guys can see this or not but this is a picture that i took of a of a brooch that i have in my shop right now and that's on a black background and i think it turned out really good so it looks really good thank you yes Very so nice. that's, you know that that's one of the ones where i took out all that fuzz and stuff and it yeah that's very it, it didn't change the look of the picture of the actual pin itself at all you know nothing changed there that's actually what it looks like so that that's was good. good thank you very nice um but yeah i was asking if you could go put like uh your link for those uh white and black boards that you were saying that you use for your jewelry that you can white clean and the uh with your jewelry treasures facebook group I so sure that, will. Yeah. And, you know, you can make that an affiliate link too. And because, yeah, I definitely want to check them out. I love the idea of not having to get out my tape or use the lint brush for the black backgrounds. Because, like I said, my dog, Skippy, he sheds like crazy. He's right. What I did once upon a time was um, one of my husband's best friends owns a humongous jewelry store here in Clarksville and he takes photos every now and then and he hangs them up on his wall and he takes his own pictures. And I was like, what'd you do to take that picture? He was like, oh, I just used a piece of black acrylic. Acrylic, yeah. I was like, okay, thank you. <laughs> it helps to get uh, advice from the pros, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it does. Especially, yeah, if, like, they, they've been friends since uh, well, maybe 20 years. 
Yes. You can even buy big ones. They're just not under the jewelry thing. Like you can get humongous pieces of the black acrylic. The main thing is it, it scratches over time by picking the jewelry up and stuff and you will eventually see the black sheets. See, I don't know what you count on loving to. See, I have, I have a question for you then about pearls. In fact, I have a whole bag of pearls that I don't know what to call them. I don't know, they're a certain kind and they're really pretty, they're colored. And whenever you're done there, I'll, I'll show you if I if I'm allowed, if I can. Tell me. One second, but I can't even spell acrylic this morning. There we go. I have a couple pieces to show to you guys. Ooh. But this is what it does, and I'll put the link. I have these exact ones. And you get a white and a black one. Let me, let me click on my stuff. I can't. Flip over. Oh, okay. They're white and they're black and they're semi reflective. So let me click on this picture so we can get a. Yeah, because your pictures are really good, Dia. Mm -hmm. And you see how you can see a slight reflection of the item itself? Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be the ticket right there that you wouldn't have to mess with stuff. Too. Here we go. Here's a piece of jewelry. And that's what you can take with those. You can see my whole house and the reflection of this thing. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. that's what it looks like. And you can have it down there like this. If if you didn't want that reflection down there on the bottom, would you would you be able to get that out or because I you would have to edit it off because they're they're made that way. They have like a black piece of stuff like this and then the, the acrylics over the top so it's like kind of two-way mirroring it without a what, mirror what does the white one do anything it does the exact same thing oh okay yeah that's really nice and i've even gone to like lowe's and picked up just tiles like a black tile and a white tile and experimented with that but yeah for the most part i just use uh white typing paper <laughs> And yeah, this is done with a mirror mirror. Oh yeah, that's nice. Go focus. That's why I took a, I used to take my pictures like this with red, black, white, and blue. Um, and then I changed to white. Show me these pearls, Miss Angie. Okay. Now, these are really cool, they're really heavy. Uh they're all different colors and you see, let me get it on myself so I can see. Do you see the is that all one strand or is that just no, it's, it's they're bracelets actually there's a million bracelets here okay those are dyed the easter egg color ones they're freshwater cultured pearls do you see the onion rings around them yes okay those are that's okay you have to show me one at a time okay you can't see what i'm pointing at those are those are all those are dyed besides the white ones the, the gray ones might be non-dyed also because they do actually come in that color naturally. Those are real. You see all those imperfections and stuff they have right there? They're freshwater cultured pearls. Wow. I have a lot of them. So, um, yeah, so these wouldn't be dyed. They're just no, the those are, Yeah, that's the color that comes straight out the oyster. Straight out yeah, the Yeah, like oyster. this one. Let's see. Uh oh. You know, in the, the telltale sign, if you start getting into, you know, like more round pearls, is if they're gritty on your teeth or not. I can tell pearls now going to an estate sale. My husband will pick up fake pearls and I might put them down. <laughs> yeah, He's I. Like, I'm sorry. He's I, like, I don't know yet. And I'm like, yeah, look, look at how they're like onion rings and stuff. Like this one has like a 14 karat class and this hand knotted in between it. Just because they're not knotted in between it doesn't mean they're real. These come a dime a dozen a day. Mm -hmm. They have oyster farms. They stick little needles inside them and inject something into them to make a freshwater pearl. And then they're like, okay, time harvest time. They'll get them all up and then do the same thing over and over again. Freshwater pearls are actually pretty cheap. 
Um, can you, until you get into the more round ones. Yeah, the rounder they are, the more expensive they are, the luster of them. And then we could have whole school here today, but yeah, the irregular ones, unless they're like extremely irregular or not, I'm not gonna be able to put that on. They're oh, not worth pearls. a lot. Hmm? Okay. I have some pretty purple pearls, so those are um dyed. Okay. Are they black purple or are they purple purple? They're like lavender purple, like Easter purple. Yeah, they're dyed. And they can dye them while the pearl's being made too. They can inject dye, like the, the, the pearl will be inside the oyster. And when it's starting to form, they can inject dye inside the oyster. So it dyes whatever is in there. It's not necessarily, not all of them are like, oh, I'm gonna soak this in stuff like you would dye an Easter egg. Cause some of them actually inject the oyster with literally dye to make a colored oh. pearl. Wow. That sounds wrong. <laughs> well, how do you think you get a cultured pearl? They, you know, they stick it in there. It's, it's a real pearl, but it is not by happenstance. They went swimming and picked up an oyster and popped it open and there was a prize. You know, mm -hmm. they took advantage of the market way, way, way back when to make pearls. I had no idea. <laughs> They stick an irritant in the poor little clam or oyster or, you know, poor thing. That just seems like an invasion of, you know, I was going to say privacy, but, you it's, know. It seems rather brutal. I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like it's going to happen whether you like it or not. Yeah. Um, kind, of, kind of like going to the gynecologist or something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's not even right, is it? That's totally not right. That's, that wasn't even mad. Yeah, I, I like all, like, all. two silk bags full of pearls and stuff. Um, oh my! Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. it's sad. Did you have another one you wanted to show, Auntie? Mm -hmm. I just, I just like this. It's just, I like it because it has the uh, rhinestones in the, in the ends, like pinned, the rhinestones pinned in the ends. It's not real or anything, but it's just pretty. Yeah, it reminds me of a pin cushion that you sew with. Like, you know, they stick the pin cushions in. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Yeah, it is pretty. Okay, I'm Who said that pearl saying that a woman should have ropes and ropes of pearls? Was that Coco mm -hmm. Chanel? Mm -hmm. Probably. Probably. She yeah. was big on pearls. I have yeah. a whole bin of pearls, too. Like, when I'm sorting stuff, I just all the pearls in the same place yeah um yeah. someone asked me I was like they're not real because they're not knotted i'm like mm -hmm. <laughs> they're real they're just not knotted like i have a bunch of stretchy ones that actually have 14 carat balls i picked them up at an estate so they still had the tags on them it said 14 karat gold i acid tested them and they're just stretchy just a whole bunch of little pearls and they're just stretchy with 14 karat balls on them they don't, they don't take the time to knot them anymore because they come a dime a dozen. You can literally go on SD right now and purchase bulk order of loose pearls, drilled or non. Mm -hmm. What do you have, Tanya? Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay. Treasures. Well, I wanted to show you guys, okay, probably up until about a year ago, whenever I would just get beads, and the jewelry jars, I would just like throw them in a craft lot. But I've learned since then to pay attention if they're cold to the touch. So I wanted to show you guys these pink beads. Oops, I think I have it locked on the edge. Let me make it over here and change this. Okay, okay. So they're pink. And they're really it's cold. Pink and black. Yeah, they look pink, black and gray. gray. Uh, can you see them better? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Are they pretty? I, just, I haven't done any research at all. I was just curious if you guys might know. Uh, I know the stone. It's rhodonite. Um, rhodonite. Yeah, I'm gonna show you a picture. Hold on. If I could spell rhodonite. I have um a, a pendant up there made out of it 
feel really cold. Oh, I have a pin of that too. Yeah, like that pink and it has like, a, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be blurry. I don't even know why that's so blurry, but it's rhodonite. Oh, wow. That is pretty, I like that. I'm really getting into the natural stones right now. Like we went to the Houston Museum of Natural Science last week and I so enjoyed seeing like all the animals carved of stone. And I got me a real pretty piece of um, pink agate that I'm gonna use like to photograph some of my jewelry pictures on. And oh, look, here it is right now. Let me try and get it without knocking anything over. Look at this, isn't it pretty? Isn't oh, that, that pretty? is pretty. Oh, wow. Christ. Very bright. I yeah, they die. I collect stone eggs, so. Stone I eggs? Bunch, I have a bunch. I have over, what, probably 200, 300, somewhere around there of them. Wow. Yeah, and I love all the natural stones. Like, I took a geology class in uh, uh, college, and ever since then, like, whenever I see the natural stones, especially, like, at Goodwill, if you guys see them, like, I've got probably about three pieces of really nice rocks uh, at Goodwill because they're super expensive. Like at the museum, those little bitty pieces of rocks go for like $60. So, and then the other thing, what? My road and night pin. Oh, let's see it. Oh, yep, that's road and night. And it's so pretty. That one has a lot of black in it. Oh, yeah. Well, I learned something new. pretty old, too. That's so pretty. Thank you. That's in my Etsy shop right now. It's one of my favorite stones is rhodonite. I like the black and the gray and the pink contrast. Mm -hmm. What other colors does it come in? But that's about that it. So black, black and white and pink and black? Like black. it's like pink, black and a gray and it kind of like mutes together. The pink and the black mute together and like make gray. Um, you can find them like that, like really, really dark, and you can find them even where they just have like one speck of pink in it, and all the way down to almost solid pink. Yeah, because this one you can see like, you can definitely see like the pink and the, the gray, but there's definitely some with more black. Yeah, there's some that has a lot of black and some are almost all the way pink. Hers are really shiny, look like they have some kind of a shiny coating on them or something. Mine's not shiny. Sure. Like if I was to wear them, would they be cold on my neck all day? Like, babe, I need some more pearls, like not pearls, but some more necklaces like this down here in Texas. <laughs> it, gets, it gets hot as Hades here. <laughs> I don't think that they used to live in Texas. Hot down there. And then real quick, this is just the other one I was going to show. These are those lapis earrings that I found in the uh, oh, jewelry bag. Those are gorgeous. I have a necklace that will match those. Do you? Yeah, a 14 so, karat lapis necklace. Do you, do you, is that where you get, do you ever shop goodwill.com? Sometimes. I have lately because there's no uh, yard sales or estate sales because it's been, both sides today, it's actually sunny outside and quite warm. I think it's probably in the 50s right now, but it's normally been like 20s and 30s and nobody's having a yard sale, so. See. Yeah. We've not been having very many uh, jewelry bags, at least not that I'm finding in my area. So, um, and then I was watching one of your videos last night and you had mentioned something about, I think a 15 pound bag. And so I immediately started thinking, well, I wonder if she's, you know, doing shotgoodwill.com because I just bought a 15 pound bag and I've got an 18 pound bag here. I haven't opened yet. They it's don't so sell jewelry in our, our Goodwills at all here in Tennessee. Nowhere in Tennessee do they sell jewelry. It all gets shipped yeah. to Nashville and Nashville ships it to somewhere else in Tennessee to take pictures and list them online. They don't have the showcases no. or anything. Our Salvation Army here carries very little jewelry. They might have two or three rings and a brooch. Yeah. The rest of it goes to, if y'all didn't know that actually Salvation Army, I don't know if they're still listing stuff or not, but there's an auction site just like Goodwill for the Salvation Army. So. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. The screen they screen. all their high quality stuff <laughs> to them to list, so. I think the screen um, is locked on me, Carrie said. The screen is on me. I took it off. Oh, it's not locked on it. It shouldn't be on anybody now. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? So somebody on the chat, I'm sorry. 
it, let me scroll up and see if I can hit see who asked that. But somebody asked where the rhodonite occurs naturally. Like, where does the stone come from? Where does the stone come from? Do you know by chance? We can look it up. Flipping crazy asked that. No, she didn't. Don't worry about it, Dia. It's okay. I typed so it. What do you have to show us? Anything? Well, it says it's for forgiveness, love, emotional, and healing. Okay. Hmm. Is that a Rolling Stone song? Emotional healing? <laughs> Marvin Gaye, sexual healing. That's if it ain't music, it's food. <laughs> I'm typing road and I again. Yeah, I'll have to find an outfit to wear them with. They would look good with the top you have on right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they would. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty color. I think mauve, kind of. Yeah, like a, a mauve pink. Mm -hmm. They're pretty. Well, I'm excited that I um, asked y'all. <laughs> now I know. I'm always scared to click on something and get a whole bunch of spam emails. Right. I have a brooch that you either love or you hate. So tell me, you guys, which one would it be? <laughs> it's really different. It is different. At first I was thinking like some kind of sea critter. What's in the middle of that? It's just a stone, a bumpy stone. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me what it is. I can't see my my camera. My screen is an off color, so I can't even tell right now if it's a gray or if it's a blue. It's blue. Um, it's a turquoise or an aqua blue with some, uh, like, peppery peppery dots in it of a uh, sand color and. Oh, I ain't got a clue. It looks like a brain to me, though. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. It looks like intestines. <laughs> it's something. Yeah, it looks funky. It's so funny when she brought it on. It was like just silence. Like, <laughs> see, this is me. This is this is the kind of stuff I like. Like, you look at it and you go, hmm. Things Makes that me wonder, me. huh? <laughs> I know what I was thinking. I was thinking like a stingray or something. Like, like something, something happened in the middle there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell what it was at first. I thought they had literally carved something. And the more you sat there and just held it, I was like, wow, that really looks like a brain turned on the side. Like, if you turn it sideways, like Honestly, it's in the whole shape like and everything. It's like somebody chewed their bubble gum and put it in the middle of there. <laughs> Ew. Is it marked? It's a bubble gum favor. It is marked. <laughs> it's tortolani. Torto tortolani. And it's a, it's, yeah, it's a, it sounds like a noodle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what these are. Right? These are noodles. And I have another one too, and it's just as mysterious, and it's by Tortolani too. I'm going to have to look up this design. Yeah, I'm going to have to look. Ooh, and I look very much that. love this one too. I actually like that one. The other one I don't know too much about, but it's cute. Right? That reminds me of like peas in a pod. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, these are mine. These are keepers. I'm not selling them. They look like are they gray pearls? Yeah, they're are they like real, like real pearl. Are they real pearls? They probably are. That's rainy. It's been all kinds of grainy. No, they're not. They're not real. Yeah, they're made to look real. You see how they made that like wave in it and stuff? Yeah, they're made to look real. But they look like little peas. You're right. They do, or like two peppers holding something. It's mm -hmm. very. I love this. You're gonna have to type that name in the chat so when I rewatch this, I can go look that brand up and that maker yeah, up. Definitely. I've never heard of that before. Oh, Lisa said she has, she has had a few earrings by that maker, by that designer. T O R T. T O R T. A O. Oh, wait. T O R T O. 
L A N I. L A N I. I've never heard of them. It's weird, interesting pieces. Kind of like mm -hmm. they were they were going they were before like the the modern art and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, not thinking I used Italian. to say stuff, but not an art person. I think. Hey, Mike. So that's that's all I have. What? We're at one o'clock. That went <laughs> fast. That did go fast. <laughs> Dia, did you have any more pieces you wanted to share? Uh, I think I showed them all. I'm digging this little. Nope, they've all. They've all had their, their time, the, the limelight. We're gonna have to look this clay thingy up. Let's not put those in there. <clears throat> gonna be wondering where they're at the whole time. We have so enjoyed having you on and would love to have you back again sometime for sure. I know that you come across a lot of really great costume jewelry pieces. So uh, definitely yeah. keep us in mind when you find some good stuff. We'd love to have you come back on and show us some pieces. I'm gonna have to pull all my Monet together and just go, Angie, can we have a Google Hangout? <laughs> yes. We need to have a show just on Monet. And we like I just can't get out of this detective mode, Angie. <laughs> well we, we have to. <laughs> I know. Well, well the other thing we need to um say about is I kind of brought up to to make this Facebook group of jewelry detectives, and it was pretty much for um just scheduling purposes you know but people start asking questions over there and i'm like <laughs> and it just didn't get the traction because really you only need tanya's group for you know the for the information so we're we kind of decided we're gonna get rid of that group right yeah we're gonna mix that and then um if everybody would just come on over to thrifty jewelry treasures mm -hmm. facebook group and that's over there and that's where we will always post all the information for the uh, live show that we're doing. And yeah. if you want to be on it or whatever, you know. Cause, Cause I I kind of put that on Tanya and she's got enough to do and she's got a great group of her own. So we don't need that that additional group, so. It's all good either way, it's good. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So I would say we are 90% 90, 90 admirers and maybe 10% detectives. <laughs> Something like that. We delve in a little bit, but like we're no experts. I'm not an expert. Nobody. I'm an not expert. an expert by any means. <laughs> Nobody's an expert. So I don't care if you've been doing this for 50 years. You're going to come across a piece one day. And you're just going to be like, what yes. is that? Yes. And that's what's so great about our community. I learn something new all the time. Like I love to listen to all the jewelry ladies talk about their jewelry because I'm learning something all the time. So. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always a good thing. Hey, if it saves you one trip to the internet, you know. Yes. Because you can fall in a rabbit hole so fast, like so fast. daily. Yes, daily. <laughs> that happens to me when I'm researching the jewelry pieces for sure. So it I is four say, hours later. Yes, that is so true. Yes. So I want to say thank you to everyone in the chat that uh, came out today and joined us for the show. Thank you so much to the moderators. And thank you to our special guest, Dia. I so enjoyed having you on. And you guys be sure and go subscribe to her. Show her some love here on YouTube. She is Immortal Hourglass. And join her Facebook group and follow her on Instagram. Thank so do you guys have any last parting words you want to say? Anything? <laughs> have a... Good day, everybody. I'll see you somewhere in the chats, I'm sure. Yep. Thank you so much. Visit my Etsy shop, Dazzled by Vintage, for stuff like this, but not this. <laughs> and you get something done. like it, just not this one. Yeah, something like it, but not that one. Smile. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Right. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.